She sent me a fucking death threat, by the way, which I have right here. She came on the show to actually finesse y'all niggas and lie to y'all about her school who's gonna help change the world when in reality, bro, she came to scam y'all niggas. Yeah, she was talking crazy to Icy too, man. <laughs> she was saying, that, said, saying she was gonna shoot Icy and shit. I just wanted to be very clear about my super chat from last time because you guys said that I was hating, I was a simp, a faggot, all these things, you know? And when I sent the donation, you guys didn't even really mention what I really said. You kind of just went on about who she was, all this, she's a gold digger, 304, all that stuff, right? And I was just making a point that you guys peer pressure someone, and I'm going to make it, make it clear, I would defend if it was a man or a woman. You peer pressure someone to say the N-word, and then some, of the, some people on the panel play victimhood, and some of them hate it and shit, and fucking said she shouldn't say that, blah, blah, blah. And I have an issue with it because you did it with Nick Fuentes. With Nick Fuentes, you defended the guy, but with her, you didn't. And it's hypocritical because 20 minutes into the, into the show, you guys were making racist Asian jokes, which I found hilarious, by the way. Wait, so are you mad that she said the N-word? Is that why you're mad? No, I'm mad about how everybody reacted after everybody peer pressure to say it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. She has a brain and she has a mouth. <laughs> if you have common sense, right? And she doesn't have common sense, she's plain retarded. I told her, yo, say the word you said earlier before the show. Oh, I won't say it at the very beginning. Then I asked again later in the show and she said it. So you tell me, who was peer pressured here? Was she peer pressured? Because she, she made a choice at the very beginning and she didn't say it. So who was actually pressured here to say, to say that word, honestly? Fair enough, but I would say that, like, if you're a person in the panel and like there's a whole bunch of people and they're all yelling at you, say it, say it, say it, say it. You think, what's the harm of saying it? Everybody seems like they're having a good time, whatever. What the fuck Bro, just say it. she didn't say it at the beginning no of the show. Dude, dude, remember, the very start of the show, I said, hey, say what you said before the show started. Maybe she said it. And she didn't say it at the very beginning. Why is that? She's a brain, my friend. I asked her again, she said it. Whose fault is that? Pressure. Bro, if you know you're not supposed to say the word, you won't say the word. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying she is right or wrong, but it is. You wouldn't. You wouldn't it be fair to say it's wrong to peer pressure someone to say that and then get mad after at her afterwards for it. Isn't that kind of weird? Who was mad, bro? Yes. Yeah. What? Yo, we were trolling, dog. Like, like, okay, dude. Common sense here, bro. Like, were me and Myron mad at her? No. He, yeah. Wait. Let me be clear about this. <laughs> Myron, like, he did, he was really he wasn't really talking about this shit. He, but you were peer pressuring her. You were kind of gaslighting the situation a lot afterwards during the show. But it was mainly the panel and the. Two guests and some, some, even you, you said she Do you said understand that whatever, why I did what I did or no? But why you, why you pre pressure? Do you understand say, why I that? asked this question that I asked her directly? No. That's the problem, my friend. She came on the show to. Well, I mean, yeah. Hold on, let me finish here. She came on the show to actually finesse y'all niggas and lie to y'all about her school who's gonna help change the world when in reality, bro, she came to scam y'all niggas. So I said, yo. Keep that same energy. We'll do the show. I'm gonna expose your ass. And it's funny because she fell for multiple traps. But again, this woman that came for attention and clout wanted the clout and attention. So she played along with it. And by default, she looks crazy. Now, you're on the other hand, defending her. In reality, she, give, she doesn't give a fuck, fuck about you anyway. And two is like, bro, she came to finesse you on niggas. So why am I gonna play nice to her? And so, oh yeah, yeah, nah, nigga, you do what you gotta do. I'm gonna play my part. And that's what happened. And if you don't like it, I don't wanna tell you, bro. But hey, listen, I exposed her and I'm glad I did. Well, I mean, no, I understand that, but you guys invite girls over all the time to promote all their shit, whatever. But the only issue, the, the only problem I have is like peer pressure don't to do that because Nick, Nick did it. Some people peer pressure Nick to do it, and then you guys were giving him a rope, like, oh no, it's okay, you can whatever. You know, there. Like, you saw. Like, hold on, stop the fucking show. Stop the show. Stop the show. Be quiet, bro. Be quiet for two seconds. This is the, and this is this is the, this is where you guys fucked up with a stupid ass argument. All right, you're comparing because this is what their issue is. You guys don't hold. Nick and Zerka accountable when they dropped the N-bomb, but you held her accountable. Here's the difference, my friend. Nick, Zerka, etc. They're not this stupid bimbo here to f try to, you know, finesse some cloud and make us look crazy and this other shit. Yeah. They didn't come here with an agenda. They were guests that we invited on our platform. They're not the same, okay? So they don't get the same level of professional courtesy that she's gonna get, that they're gonna get. Thank you. She is not on the same level. You guys are trying to equate, okay. oh, well, y'all treated Nick like this. Y'all need to treat her like that. No, we're not. Okay? Nick Fuentes, John Zerka, other guys that come on here that say the crazy shit, there are, we know them, we're cool with them, we work with them, they're colleagues, we're on the same fucking level. It is what it is. This chick came in with an agenda, right? Before the show, a lot of shit behind camera that y'all didn't see, okay? So like, oh, you're here to try to get attention, fake cry, be a weirdo, etc. You're not gonna get that same professional courtesy.
All right? So that's why we treated her different. All y'all like, yo, y'all are hypocrites, blah, blah, blah. She does not earn the professional courtesy that we give to other people because she's not on our level and we didn't bring her on as a guest and requested her. She came on here and she bothered Icy, by the way, to come on the fucking show to push her stupid agenda. She sent me a fucking death threat, by the way, which I have right here. It's not the same at all. Y'all niggas are over here simping for this crazy ass bitch. Yes. <laughs> yes, she sent me a fucking death threat. Yes, I didn't tell y'all that the other show, but she did. I have the fucking letter right here. Yeah, it's crazy. All right? Bro. So she's not on the oh, same God. level at all. It's not about hypocrisy or anything else like that. We're not going to treat everyone the same. She is not John Circa. She is not Nick Fuentes, so she does not deserve the same fucking treatment. And the fact that you're even trying to equate this stupid-ass bitch wow. to a real guest, a real content creator, is wild to me. That's crazy, bro. Oh, no, that's, that's hypocrisy, blah, blah, blah. Not everyone gets the same treatment. Not everyone is equal. Not everyone is the same. Period. My guy chose holes before bros. That's crazy, bro. What the fuck? Because that, that's the argument. That's what these niggas are arguing. All you guys, bro, it's because you guys are being hypocritical where y'all are shitting on her for saying the N-word, but you didn't show other people. Well, guess what? She's not John Zucker. She's not fucking Nick Fuentes. We didn't invite her on the fucking podcast as an actual real guest. So she didn't get, doesn't get the same privileges. Not the same at all. This is crazy to me that y'all are even doing this shit. Peer pressure, my friend. And the reason why we treated her like that, we bullied her like that, is because she fucking deserved it. Yeah. She's a piece of shit weirdo that gave my staff a hard time behind the scenes. She lied to Kevo and uh, and to Organic, Organic before the show, saying, "Oh yeah, I'm just here to collect money for my school. I don't really give a shit." She was crying, trying to take attention from people. So, and then y'all are saying, "Yo, you guys went ahead and sit for the black girl. You let the black girl get mad at her over the victim shit, bro. Hey, it's entertainment. I'm not gonna sit here and save her from this ridiculous ass black chick yeah. with, uh, getting mad about that shit because hey, number one, it's entertainment. Number two, I don't give a fuck. Number three, she already hurt the quiet of the so I was like, you know what? Let's let it rock. And again, peer pressure? You gotta be kidding, bro. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, she came here with an agenda, so she does not get the same level of respect at all. Yo, bro, you chose the host before the bros, bro. You made a cardinal mistake here, man. You fucked up. Hold before bros? What are you doing, dog? Like, what, what? like you over here caping for some chick that's a weirdo, bro, and trying to put, say it like, yo, y'all didn't have the same energy for Zuka. Y'all didn't have that same yo, energy for Nick. You are not a warrior, bro. You're a simp. You're a warrior simp. Well, if you look at it as like a viewer's perspective and you see the panel and you see like you see this type of shit, I see it as you want to treat people with respect as you want to be treated. That's that, that was, that's that's the only argument I'm making, you know. I know if I was in that position, or whatever, I'd be like, oh fuck, you know. It's no, like just respect I don't know. in general, you know. You want to treat people with respect. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, treat people with respect. Does she show respect by coming in here and doing some weirdo shit and crying and hurting the quiet of the show and uh, doing all this shit, trying to attention whore, coming on the show saying like, oh yeah, I'm just here to, you know, collect money for my school. I'm here to uh, like finesse, blah, 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 before the show. D d do you think someone like that deserves respect, bro? Obviously not, but before... Then shut the fuck up. Then shut the fuck what up are you then. Arguing what then, are you bro? arguing then? And by the way, well, before yo, bro, call her. She made fun of you guys in, before we even started the show. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, she came to finesse y'all yeah, niggas and talk shit about y'all. It's crazy because I'm like, you're, you're defending her. <laughs> like, Why? But I would have defended the person if it was a man or a woman. It's not about bro, that she's he a came woman, to finesse you. What part don't you understand that? He's not your friend. Or, or she's not your friend. Yeah, but I'm just saying if it was like either a man or a woman, you know? I'm just saying that. And, the, and before, when the, first, when the show first started, you introduced everybody in the panel or whatever. And she, I'm, she, she's not as submissive as she's not a feminine woman. She's a bitch. She, she, does, she fake cries, all this shit, whatever. But she was preaching femininity and submissiveness. Like, and then you have this ghetto ass chick that was fucking watching your show, but she was a thought. Bro, she was lying the whole time, bro. What part do you don't understand? She was capping uh, we, the we whole roast, time. We roasted the black girl too, nigga. We were making fun of the black girl too. Call her. Hold the hold the L, man. Yeah, just just hold the L, dog. And here's the thing. With your perspective, I totally see. I get the point. Now with your perspective, I get it. Now we got the context. We got the everything. And I completely understand you guys' argument. I was just making the point from a viewer's perspective. You know, it's just a respect thing. That's but she it. don't deserve respect, you know? bro. Not everyone deserves respect. That's what I'm trying to explain to you here. It's like, and, and the fact that you're trying to equate how we treat her versus actual real guests with real platforms like a John Zerker or Nick Fuentes is crazy to me that you're even trying to put them on the same footing. And also it's comedy. This is a random... No, it's this is a, it yes, it is, because that's what you use as an example. And also it's comedy, by the way. You literally use it as an example to, 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 um, to solidify your argument why we have differential treatment. That's literally what you use. It's like, yo, you don't hold them to the same Wait, level. Hypocrisy. Come on. Can you, can you say again? Because first, that's something. I said that oh, you were trying mean. because you, that was the basis of your the basis of your argument was we didn't give equal treatment to her that we gave to Zerka and to Fuentes. And what I said was she doesn't deserve the equal treatment because she's not on the same level as them. We don't we're not going to treat her the same. And then on top of that, her actions and her behaviors made it even less so that we're going to treat her the same. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And also, you're trying to say that respect is to be given. I'm saying respect is to be earned. That's what I'm arguing. And also, if we're aware of someone coming to like finesse you guys, we're going to have your back. So like by default, 
her coming to like talk shit to you guys and like finesse and lie. Yeah, so we're like, yo, we're gonna troll this chick. Hell no, we're gonna bro. troll this girl, bro. Gonna sit here and let, let her do that to you the whole show? No, fuck no. Yeah, like, man. Like, on, yo, man. we're like, yo, we're gonna troll this girl, bro. And that's what organic and Kevin were doing too. And then with this crazy, and here's the other thing too. Yo, you, you y'all niggas really think the black girl is mad about her saying nigga? No, no. no. The black girl is mad at her about the femininity school shit. She was, she was lying the whole time. Yeah, yo, she was mad about that. We, we all heard a combo of her talking about, oh yeah, like I'm gonna do this school, blah blah blah. I left my husband because I want to make some money. I want to yeah, be edu yeah. I it's all a finesse, bro. Yeah, and it was you, all a clout chase, bro. And you fell for yeah, it. No, I know that was, I knew that like was bullshit. Like the simp you were, bro. You fell for it, bro. Like, like, dog, like... No, but I knew, I knew she was full of shit, though. That's the thing that I was... So why are you defending her? Way in the beginning. Why are you defending her if you know she's full huh? of shit? That whole femininity oh shit was a cap. God, bro. Why are you defending her, man? You fell for it, bro. Come on. I mean it. You fell for it, nigga. You fell for it, bro. Why are you defending her if you know it's cap? Hey, not only you, though. Some of the chat fell for it, too. very beginning, before I knew all that stuff. But bro, and like not bro, only bro, argument, bro, bro, like, bro, has to be earned. bro, you and watch us that. all the time. We have y'all back, man. If something is crazy or funky or needs to be done, we're going to do it for the chat. And because we respect ourselves as podcast hosts. If they are capping, we'll call them out. Appreciate you guys. I'm not a hater, bro. I'm just trying to give out criticism. That's it, bro. Okay, well, you made a mistake. I understand. I, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. But like, like I said before, my whole basis is... Y'all want to want us to treat her like a Zerka or a Fuentes? She has does not has not earned that. Period. That's what I'm trying to say. And okay, she came okay. in here with with with, a, okay. with an agenda, so we had to punish her for that shit. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I don't want to hold too much of your time. You know, with other people and stuff. No worries, man. That's a valid. We can have a respectful discourse. Uh, no problem. Thank you doing. I love you guys' show. I love what you guys do. Uh, take it easy. No worries, man. No no hard feelings. Like I said, we can have a uh, respectful yeah. disagreements. But all right. Honestly, this will be very clear though. Yeah. Go ahead. Like. I was a supporter in the chat, bro. Like, we got y'all back, man. Like, we're not going to sit here and let people f make fun of you guys and finesse you if you know beforehand what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. No you, you, you guys, you got, you, that's why y'all should get on Castle Club. Like, y'all will see, see a lot of this shit beforehand. Niggas on Castle Club knew what type of time she was on, bro. Yeah, they knew. Okay. But, hey. Yeah, she was talking crazy to Icy, too, man. <laughs> she was saying, said, saying she was going to shoot Icy and shit. I want to meet Andrew Tate. She's a weirdo, bro. <laughs> Come on, like, man. Niggas really out here caping for a weirdo. All right, who's up next? That left her husband. And, oh, man, I, I can't. Forget it. There's a whole list of things, but never mind.